Hey guys, what's going on? Gen Dead Commando here, and today we're bringing you a reaction video. It's called The Weapons Will Make the Indian Navy the Strongest in the Future. So let's see what these weapons are, guys, all right? But before we get into that, please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Hitting the notifications along the way so you get notified every time we go live on YouTube. Uh, if you want to join the Discord, the link is in the description as well, so you can chat to me or anyone else in the community. You can also recommend content on there as well, guys, if there's a video you want us to react to or something like that, alright? If you like gaming, we game every single night. Twitch is in the Discord, uh, is in the link as well in the description, so please follow us on Twitch, guys. But let's just get straight into this one. Enjoy. The Indian Navy has been focusing on developing indigenous platforms, systems, sensors, and weapons as part of the nation's modernization and expansion of its maritime forces. In okay, so they're trying to get a great uh, Indian Navy then, all right? It's, uh, they're trying to make their capability a little bit better than what it is. They already have a fantastic capability anyway, so it'll be interesting to see what they want to change. In 2013, a senior naval official outlined the Indian Navy's intention to build a 200-ship navy over a 10-year period. Wow. Today, in this video, we are going to show you the future of the Indian Navy in the coming 10 years or so in detail. Nice. I really like these videos, guys. Um, yeah, it's pretty now, cool. let's get into the detail. Submarines. Presently, the Indian Navy has 20 submarines, 16 in service. That's a lot, guys. Four undersea trials. Three nuclear-powered ones. Wow. Okay. Out of which three are nuclear powered submarines. In coming years, India is planning to acquire 20 more submarines, which includes 12 nuclear powered submarines, and the rest are conventional diesel electric submarines. Yeah. At present, out of the 20 submarines to be acquired, four are under construction, and the rest of the submarines will be constructed in a phase wise manner. Right, so they're definitely upgrading their military capability, guys. Um, well, simply it makes you a, a more stronger country in the world, all right? It makes you have more power and stuff like that. So, yeah, I can see why they're developing that. They're already a fantastic military, so they're going to be an even better one very, very soon. In addition to this, two more midget submarines will be constructed and will be used by Marcos for special ops. We know what the Indian Marcos are all capable of. They are fantastic soldiers, all right? Amphibious soldiers of that. A little bit more like the uh, Royal Marines commandos, like what I was in, guys. These are... Very, very similar in what they're expected to do. All right, great, great guys. Operations. Aircraft carriers. India currently has one aircraft carrier in active service. In so, the coming years, yeah. the Indian Navy is going to add two more aircraft carriers, INS Vishal and INS Vikrant. Out of the two to be acquired, INS Vikrant aircraft carrier is in fitted out stage and is going to enter sea trials soon. Mm-hmm. In addition to this, the Indian Navy is planning to acquire four more helicopter carriers with displacement of 21,000 to 27,000 tons in coming years. Wow. Destroyers. India currently has 11 active destroyers in its naval fleet. In That's powerful. That's a powerful fleet, guys. Already, it's uh, quite superior to many countries, all right? So the fact that they want to increase on that is, um, it's intimidating, guys. I'm not going to lie. Coming years, India is going to add four more Visakhapatnam class stealth guided missile destroyers in its naval fleet. All four destroyers are under construction and is going to enter in service soon. Frigates. India currently has 14 plus frigates in active service. The Indian Navy is planning to acquire 11 stealth guided missile frigates in coming years. Out of the 11 frigates to be acquired, six frigates are under construction and is going to enter service soon. Corvettes. Presently, the Indian Navy has 23 plus Corvettes in active service. The wow. Indian Navy is planning to acquire 23 more Corvette ships in coming years. Right, Corvette looks like a little, like a, a smaller destroyer, guys. I've never, I'm not really too um, apt on ships and stuff like that, but they look pretty cool. Naval aircraft. India is planning to acquire 40 to 50 multi-role fighter wow. Tejas Mark II for the Navy. In addition to this, in late January 2017, the Indian Navy released an International Request for Information, or RFI, for 57 multi-role carrier-borne fighters. The main contest is between Boeing FA-18 Super Hornet and Dassault Rafale M. 
The Indian Navy is also planning to acquire 250 plus multi role helicopters in the future. Yeah, because they've only got about 50, 60 multi role helicopters at the moment, which is um, still really, really strong. But um, I was watching a video about the tensions between India and Pakistan, and they've got quite similar capability for the air role um, in terms of the helicopters that they've got. So I think they're wanting to increase the helicopter role very soon. So it would be interesting to see how that plays out, guys. But that's a fascinating uh, video of that. They've already got a massive, massive arsenal of uh, military capability and stuff like that anyway. So the fact that they want to increase that, is that due to tensions? Is that due to policy? I don't know why they want to do that. But it's pretty good. They've got a strong army, strong military. Peace to India. Love you guys. If you've made it this far, please drop us a subscribe and a like if you like the video. Hit the notifications along the way so you get notified every time we go live. If you want to see me play games live, I'll be playing live every single night on Twitch. So that link is in the description, guys. If you want to donate to help the channel out, we have a PayPal account as well. So you can do that if you so wish. But other than that, guys, I um, hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.